Welcome to my lecture series on gate math. In this video, I am going to cover linear algebra, the matrices and determinants. In that, we are going to see four main headings. And the first one is classification and the next is algebra, properties and the special matrices. On the classification part, we have the types of matrices. And the first one is square matrix. A matrix A is said to be a square matrix if the number of rows is equal to number of columns. For example, A is equal to So, here there are three columns and three rows. The number of rows is equal to number of columns and the order of the matrix is 3 cross 3. This is called as a square matrix. Next is diagonal matrix. A matrix A is said to be diagonal matrix if all the elements except the main diagonal is 0. For example, this is the main diagonal. This is called as a diagonal matrix. That is Aij is equal to 0 or i not equal to g. And the next is scalar matrix. A matrix A is said to be scalar if the leading diagonal elements are equal. The main diagonal, leading diagonal, everything is remaining all elements are 0. This can be represented as Aij is equal to 0 if i not equal to j and m if i is equal to j. Unit matrix. A matrix is said to be unit matrix if all the principal diagonal elements are 1 and the remaining elements are can be represented as This is also called as identity matrix. Triangular matrix. There are two types of triangular matrix. First is upper triangular and the next is lower triangular. So this is an upper triangular matrix where the zeros will be formed as a triangle in the lower part. That is Aij will be equal to 0 if i greater than j. For example, a31 is equal to 0. That means i is what 3 and j is 1. 3 is greater than 1. And for the part of lower triangular, so the triangle will be formed in the upper, upper one. aij is equal to 0 if i less than j. For example, a13 is equal to 0. That is 1 less than 3. And the final one is null matrix. We all know null matrix is the matrix that has the all the elements 0. Now that we have covered square matrix, diagonal, scalar, unit, triangular and null matrix. That is the classification part is over. Now let's move to the algebra part. Algebra of matrices. First one we are going to see addition. Two matrices can be added or subtracted only when they have same order. For example, consider two matrices A, C, Only if they have same orders, you can add a subtract the matrix. We are going to see the properties now. That is, addition is commutative. Commutative means A plus B is equal to B plus A. A plus 0 matrix is equal to 0 plus A. And addition is associative. Associative means it includes three variables. A plus B plus C will be equal to A plus of B plus C. And the cancellation law holds good. A plus X is equal to B plus X. For that it equals A equal to B. This is the cancellation law. This is all the properties of addition and subtraction. And then is the scalar multiplication. When you multiply a matrix with a scalar, that is what we are going to see now. That is, consider matrix A. When you multiply it with a scalar 2, scalar can be represented as K, lambda, anything else we want. Now, A is equal to 2, 4, 6, 8. 
This is the scalar matrix of K. Now the properties of scalar. Consider K as a scalar. Now this P plus Q is a scalar. When you multiply it with an A matrix, and if you separate it and multiply along with the A matrix, that is, will also be equal. Now the matrix multiplication. Two matrices can be multiplied only if the number of columns in the first one that is equal to the number of rows in the second one. For example, consider a matrix A is equal to A i j and cross n. So the number of rows in the second one should be equal to the number of columns in the first one. And the final product will be in the order of m cross p. Matrix uh, multiplication does not be commutative every time. That is, AB doesn't equal to BA every time. But sometimes AB will be equal to BA. And uh, it is associative. A into BC will be equal to AB into C. Distributive A into B plus or minus C will be equal to AB plus or minus BC. And the cancellation law does not hold good. That means if AB equal to AC, you can't cancel the A matrices. A plus B the whole square can be expanded as A square plus AB plus BA plus B square. The total number of multiplication that we have done will be equal to M cross N cross P. See, this is the order of a matrix and this is the order of a mixed matrix. If you, you, if you do the multiplication, you will have these many uh, number of multiplications in that. Now let's move to the problem.